Hi, welcome back to The Car Project. This week we are diving into John chapter 16. I'm here again with my friends Heather and Jenny and I'm Sarah. And this week in John chapter 16, we're going to dive right into the Holy Spirit, which is actually something that you see, we've seen throughout the last couple yeah. of weeks yeah, if you're yeah. reading along. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to talk about it a little bit today. In the King James Version, I believe it's usually referred to as the Holy Ghost. So one in the same thing here. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to start off with just, we're going to read John chapter 16, and I want to read the second verse. Um, because if you remember last week, we were talking about the vine and the branches and yeah. bearing fruit and what that all meant. And um, so we're going to jump to John chapter 16, verse 2. And Jesus tells them, they will ban you from synagogues. In fact, a time is coming when anyone who kills you will think he is offering service to God. Like, whoa, oh. what, what just happened? And, and right, right before this, he says, hey, if the world's going to hate me, the world's going to hate you. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and so what I want to highlight here is, is really why is Jesus telling them this? Why is Jesus saying yeah. that these mm -hmm. things are going to happen? Which, by the way, you see play out in, in Acts in the early church. And um, let's read chapter 16, verse 1. Can you girls help me with that? Yep. Uh, you want to do it, Jenny? Yep. I'm going to read um, on the Bible app out of John 16. The U version by the U version by yeah. uh, verse one uh -huh. from the New Living Translation. And it says this I have told you these things so that you won't abandon your faith. Okay. So he uses the word abandon. Abandon yeah. faith. And okay. NIV says, All this I have told you that you will not fall away. And the CSB says, I have told you these things to keep you from stumbling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is telling them, hey, these hard things, really, really hard things are going to happen. You'll be kicked out of synagogues. You might even be killed. Right. But he's telling them so that they won't abandon their faith. So right. they won't fall away. So mm -hmm. they won't stumble. Now, if you remember back in John, uh, if you're reading along in John chapter 13, verse 17, it talked about, hey, if you know and you do these things, you will be blessed. And in the Bible study, we kind of unpacked that word blessed. Because yeah. mm -hmm. if you're interpreting that verse as, hey, I, I'm living a good Christian life, so I should have a blessed life, mm -hmm. meaning health, wealth, and happiness right. and prosperity, mm -hmm. right. you know, what's going to happen to your faith? You're going to stumble. You're going to fall away, mm -hmm. right? You're, you're going to be discouraged because your life, let's be honest, right? Our lives don't turn out like no. that. Yeah. And so Jesus is just like setting the stage here. And, and what I think is important, I want to make sure we take away, is that our faith needs to be based on truth. Mm -hmm. And here Jesus is speaking truth mm -hmm. to his disciples. This is what's going to happen. And so now let's introduce the Holy Spirit here. One thing that I love is the Holy Spirit is referred to in the last three chapters as um, the the spirit of truth, and and that's what I wanted to dive into a little mm -hmm. bit here. Mm -hmm. um, let's look at four different, or no, sorry, three different verses, and I want to let's like look at what does the yeah. Holy Spirit do for us? Yeah, and when we're looking at the context, we can flip mm -hmm. before and we can flip after, after and yeah. to kind of get a, a well-rounded well, picture. Like we said, Jesus just keeps talking yeah. about this throughout. So, how is the Holy Spirit? Why is he referred to as the Spirit of Truth? Yeah, why don't you start? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to start, I'm gonna start okay. with um, chapter 14 in John, and let's read verse 26. It says this, But the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have told you. So that's one of the roles mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is to teach, teach us. us. Mm -hmm. Not just teach us anything, but to teach us everything that Jesus right. has already Said. Which then right. goes right into John 15, mm -hmm. uh, verse 26, where it says, when the advocate, mm -hmm. that's how the, uh, it's referred to as the, uh, as the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. when the advocate comes, who I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who goes out from the Father, he will testify, testify. about me. Yeah. So he's going to point to me. Uh, one of my favorite yeah. pastors, I uh, used to use the analogy that if Jesus was the monument, the Washington Monument in, in Washington, D.C., the Holy Spirit were the spotlights. The whole purpose and, mm -hmm. and job of the Holy Spirit is mm -hmm. to point to Jesus every single yeah. time. To actually mm -hmm. shine a light on him. On yeah. his Who teachings. Is, his teachings, yeah. what he said. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. And I love that because now listen to this verse in light of what they both just read. This is John chapter 16, verses 13 through 15. 
When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own, but he will speak whatever he hears. He will also declare to you what is to come. He will glorify me. Again, this is Jesus speaking. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything mm. the Father has is mine. Mm. That is why I told you that he takes from what is mine and he will declare it to you. So the Holy Spirit highlights Jesus, reminds us of the truth we find, the word of truth, um, yeah. reminds us of, of, of Jesus' words. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage you here because if this is feeling like a lot, it was to the disciples too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as we're going to see, if you were to keep reading down in chapter 16 towards... Uh, oh, it's all over the place. Because they're asking questions everywhere. Yeah. All over. Right. But I love in, in, uh, in verse 16 and 17, the disciples start asking each other questions. Mm -hmm. and, and rather than asking Jesus questions, they're asking each other questions <laughs> right. and, and you can tell there's just genuinely there's just some confusion they're yeah. trying to what is going on but it was okay and for them to ask the questions it's okay and and what one of my favorite verses in this I think one of the verses that stood out to me which is a little bit odd it's actually verse 12 this is Jesus saying I still have many things to tell you but you can't bear them now yeah mm -hmm. I mean it's like Jesus gets it right and mm -hmm. so I've been debating whether I should share this terribly embarrassing story about myself um, as I was, you should, yeah, I should. every time she should. it's one of those things you think I'm going to regret this as soon as the words <laughs> come out of my mouth, but I'm going to do it anyway for you. I'm going to kind of be vulnerable here as I was reading and studying and actually it was back in John chapter 14 and, and trying to write this study. Okay. There's so much, so much information. Mm -hmm. And I have all these words and I'm out of words and I still had half the chapter. These words came out of my mouth. You guys, I said, Jesus Stop talking. <laughs> and then I went, oh, like uh, I just heard what yeah, I said, yeah. but too many words. I'm like, it's it's too, too much. much. Yeah. I don't know. It was it's too much. You, you couldn't bear it. I yeah. could I couldn't I couldn't <laughs> get it all. Familiar. Sounds, I, mean, I couldn't thing. communicate it all. And and you see that with these disciples yeah. that you read going, it's too much. Yeah. <laughs> like it's a lot. what are you saying? Yeah. And, and Jesus gets it like he's he's encouraging them, and that's why mm -hmm. he's actually giving the Holy Spirit. The Spirit will guide them in the truth. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna be better off when Jesus goes so that the Holy Spirit dwells within a yeah. believer yeah. and guides us yeah. in his truth. So I hope that can just be an encouraging story and yeah. an embarrassing Definitely. one as well. Yeah. And also, if you want to yeah. read the words that Sarah wrote, wrote in yeah. this Bible study and see oh. how God helped her formulate the we truth, so, yeah. um, visit our website and go to resources to our blog where you can find the Bible studies and yeah. you can get yeah. more content. Yeah. It. All right. Thanks for joining us this yeah. week, friends. Thanks. Thanks. See ya.